Hi, welcome back to my blog, Edis English Literature. I am Orjan Dude. Today, we are going to read Philip Larkin's beautiful poem, The North Ship. The British writer Philip Larkin is a prolific writer in terms of expressing the simple theme in its simple diction. Even though the theme is simple, it states a philosophical as well as social and political view of the modern time. So Philip Larkin's poetry as well as his novels is a telling picture of the then time society or the or the society he faces the surroundings statements of life that he faces or that he sees in front of him is the arresting theme of his writing. In his The North Ship, the poem that we are currently reading is the first published book of anthologies or poetry collections with the same name and this poem was included in that anthology. The poem states the simple theme of aspiration, of destination or the goal of ambition or the desires or the person who has the ambition must lead himself or leads herself into the destined gold or reaches into the destination. Defeating the all odds, defeating the all bounces, defeating the all ifs and buts, a successful man finds its way by his own will, as like this the story of the ships. So here in this symbolic story, in this symbolic poem, we can find out the journey of the ships are the ships of different ideologies or the ships are here representative of human being of different calibers or different qualities. The North Ship by Philip Larkin is a symbolic poem or the poem that states the different statements of our life with the people, with the person, with the persona and we, the different ideological planks of ours, faces different ideological differences, ideological hostilities, as well as a different category of seeing this world. So, we as an individual are different sects. And even though we are different, even though we are facing that of challenges in every aspect, but many a times we the simple people follow the way that we definitely follow or uh, rather uh, we are willing to follow the chiseled path or the path that is paved one. But many of us who are ambitious, who are having a destined goal, who are defeating every obstacles nearby and reaching that destination are the real heroes. So is the stories of destination everlasting emotions of that pole star or following that pole star like that of Ulysses who is looking after life after life into that unseen, into that unknown, into that uncanny, in pursuit of knowledge, in pursuit of new destinations, in pursuit of new geography, each and every minute he is spoiling. So even these are spoiling to ordinary men but these are all the one to him and to the latter humanity. So in Not Ship is a simple tale that tells about the destinations of us or our motivation, our destination, our desires to that uh, different categories. Most of us are following the same rules, but a few of us are making their own ways and making them a history. So that is the very story of North Ship. The North Ship reaches its new way, new destination, new predicaments or a new way of devising or configuring the life. And that is the very goal and that is the very suitable ideology of human being. If that persuasion is not there, there had been a static one. The ideological stupidity should be there if we don't follow new ways.
there had been some Christ, there had been some Marco Polo, and there had been some Saint John who 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 is willing to make a new path, and and that is the willing aspects of our living, and that is the story of human being or human civilization. So let's concentrate into the poem. With the regular simple rhymes, and this poem tells the story of three different shapes that are going in three different directions. These directions and the shapes are symbolic as I have told you. The shapes are well uh, compared with the human being or the human ideologies and their roots are the different ideological roots or different way of thinking of us. As different thoughts reaches its different conclusions, similarly different ways of these shifts meet different, uh, different destinations and that is the very story of this uh, particular poem. I saw three ships go sailing by over the sea, the lifting sea, and the wind rose in the morning sky, and one was rigged for a long journey. So, from the harbor, three ships are setting forth its journey, or all these three ships are taking a journey through the sea, through the lifting sea. So the lifting sea here refers to be the sea which is full of its current. The wind rose in the morning sky and one was rigged for a long journey. Three ships were there starting a journey but only but one was equipped with the possibility of making a journey. A journey that is long one, that is time melt was one that is full of adventures and full of unknown uncanny destinations. So a journey is that from A to B in its sigiled way, in its professed way is a kind of a journey known. But a journey that like that of Ulysses, adding towards following the pole star, making a journey to the unknown unseen journey one ship is equipped with rigged with now the three of the ships make three different directions and started its journey the first ship turned towards the west over the sea the running sea and, and by the wind was all possessed and carried to a rich country so we are we the many people are following the prophet's path of in particular directions of our careers and making it profitable and those are all known ways of our lifestyle and obviously the rich countries are our reach, reaching to the rich professions or rich profit out of that journey the second turn towards the east over the sea the quaking sea and the wind hunted it like a beast to anchor in captivity. The fate of the, the second sea is that he met some hostile situations. Like that of imprisonment, the lifting sea was there also in the in, in the case of second sea. Skies, the seas, everything was in hostile mode. The ship lost its control by the gust of wind is the very face of the second ship that is making a journey and that it followed the opposite direction. So western it they achieved success, eastern it achieved some hostility. So each and every people of us, even though we are following the same way that is known for reaching to the success in terms of philosophy, in terms of material prosperity, we are all having that chisel goal and following them. But some are successful, some are failures. A few of us 
might not follow either of the way eastern or western they will follow the new way they will make a way that will make a path for futurity the third ship drove towards the north over the sea darkening sea even though it was darkening sea an unknown sea unseen sea with full of hostility full of problematic ideological and problematic philosophical problematic materialistically but they followed that northern way knowing that unknown even though they know that that is unknown they want to navigate through that unknown through that opacity to reach a new destination but no breath of wind came forth and the deck shone frostily so like that of ancient mariner they reached the perils of sea the hostility of sea but in case of coldidge the ancient mariner it had been a kind of punishment for hurting those bird albatros but here here is no punishment willingly the north sea embraced this hostility the frostly the frost the snow the chill weather the breathless wind no bath of wind they are blowing so their ship remained stand still or trapped within and the northern sky rose high and black over the proud and fruitful sea and the northern sky it had been high and black full of opacity full of unseen full of hostility and the sea in return remain unfaithful remain proud so the sea never helped that northern sea to navigate through it was proud like that of a human being it was unfruitful there had been no compassion for the ship so the sea sea faced a full of hostility in the northern way defeating that northern hostility the northern ship navigates through and that is the very story of the northern ship that is the very story of making a way that is the story of iconic east and west the ships came back happily or unhappily in western part in eastern way the two ships returned happily or unhappily they followed the way no they met by their own caliber happy by their own caliber they remain unhappy or they are fed as destined them but the third went wide and far but the third one who made his own way went wide and far into an unforgiving sea even though she is never giving anything in return it is impassionate and it is also giving a rude return to him the third ship went on and on that is the continuity that is the everlasting spirit of human soul like that of odysseus under a fire spilling star under the sun which is hostile one which is glimming its fire hot sun it was rigged for a long journey but despite of all this this third ship is equipped to it this third ship proved it that it is capable of making a journey and that journey is iconic and that journey is final and that journey makes ways for the futurity of human being to live by so here is the way that makes a way
here is the ship that makes a journey and that journey is journey to humanity and these are the third ships that makes the story of humanity the story of civilization so i think you have understood this particular poem of philip larkin and its philosophical essence if there is any problem regarding this poem in understanding you can just pop a question here i will try my best to answer and obviously like share comment and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to this kind of posts in future bye bye